talking about the Mercury retrograde. We are not going to spend all night on this because this is a quick lesson. And I think everyone pretty much is familiar with the Mercury rising. So we're going to uh, explain that really, really quickly. And then we're going to dive in to how this uh, Mercury retrograde is going to affect each rising sign and how you can take advantage of it. So here are the dates. The Mercury uh, retrograde happens about three times a year okay and this is the last mercury retrograde for 2021 so we won't be seeing mercury retrograde again for the rate after this one until 2022 probably sometime in march so this is the last one for 2021 but it feels like for me it feels like this whole year and last year was a mercury retrograde so i can't really tell the difference so, this Mercury retrograde is going to start on, officially start on September 27th, and it is going to last until October 18th. So mark your calendars, September 27th to October 18th, we will be officially experiencing the Mercury retrograde. Now, the sign that the Mercury retrograde is going to be in Drum roll, please. The sign that is going to be hosting the Mercury retrograde is the sign of Libra. So that means my people that are Libra sun, Libra moon, or Libra risings are going to be most affected by this Mercury retrograde. As the Mercury retrograde goes into a particular sign, sometimes it goes into two signs, depending on you know where it's stationed in the um in the universe. But the Mercury retrograde is going to be in the sign of Libra. So if you are a sun, moon, or rising Libra, this Mercury retrograde is all about you. Okay, this is all about you. However, there are some other planets, I mean, some other signs that are going to be impacted um, just as much. Now, we are all impacted. Every sign of the zodiac is impacted by the Mercury retrograde. But there are certain signs that are going to be impacted a little bit more. Um, Libra being the Libra being one because Libra is hosting the Mercury retrograde. And then the next signs to be impacted by this will be um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Arising and Virgo, Sun, Moon, Arising. And the reason that they are impacted, well, Gemini and Virgo are always impacted. And the reason is Mercury is their ruling planet. So every time we have a Mercury retrograde, no matter what sign is hosting it, Gemini and Virgo natives are going to feel it because Mercury is their ruling planet. So, most of the time, Gemini and Virgos know how to navigate through this energy because it's not foreign to them. So they don't, um, may, they, they, they may not react to it as much as other signs because so, they know this energy. Now, since Libra is hosting the Mercury retrograde and Libra is a cardinal sign, that means it is the... Um, there's four cardinal signs, and these, these signs represent the beginning of the seasons. So that would mean, since it's hosted in a cardinal sign, that means the other three uh, cardinal energies are going to feel this. So the next group of signs that will feel this retrograde is going to be Aries natives, sun, moon, arising, Cancer natives, sun, moon, arising, and Capricorn natives, sun, moon, moon arising. So, if you are a Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, or Capricorn, this Mercury retrograde is all about you. Okay? Does everybody understand so far? I'm sure you do. So, we know who's going to be hosting it. We know who's going to be impacted the most. Again, everybody's going to be impacted by the Mercury retrograde. We know the dates. But I, there's another date I need to give you. Um... Even though the Mercury retrograde officially starts on September the 27th, we have what we call the shadow period, okay? And the shadow period is, you can describe it as, just say for instance, your vacation starts on September the 27th. 
the shadow period will be the period that you start preparing for the vacation, okay? So the shadow period is going to start actually on September the 6th, okay? So mark your calendar. This uh, means that you could possibly start to experience um, the effects of the Mercury retrograde. And to be honest with you, um, right about now, you're probably feeling it. Sometimes you can feel the effects anywhere from like a month in advance. So some of you may have already started to feel the effects of the Mercury retrograde. But February, I'm sorry, September the 6th is going to start the shadow period, okay? So this is a time that I would tell you to go ahead and start preparing and start slowing down and shedding some things down. Now, that is the pre-shadow period. Now, the official end date of the Mercury retrograde again is October the 18th. But even though that's the end of the retrograde, that is not the official date that Mercury is just working at 100%. Still has to get some time to come back from vacation and unpack everything that they bought on vacation. So the Mercury retrograde will have a post shadow period and that will end on November the 3rd, okay? So remember that you will start to feel the effects probably already now, but definitely by September the 6th, I don't know why I keep saying February, September the 6th, uh, the retrograde officially starts September the 27th, officially ends October the 18th. But um, I would still wait before I do anything as far as getting initiating any new projects. If you can push it out until November the 3rd, you will have more luck with that. So, so far, does anyone have any questions about the dates, um, the signs that are going to be affected, or anything with regards to the Mercury retrograde that you want me to go over? Or do you want to just keep going? So somebody let me Every planet goes through a retrograde period. The only two planets, and they're really not planets, but for educational purposes, we consider the sun and moon as a planet. And those are the only two planets that don't go in a, into a retrograde period. So every planet in the zodiac goes into a retrograde period at some point within the year. Um, Mercury actually go, goes retrograde three times up. Okay, three times again, like I said, this is the last retrograde period for 2021, and then we won't have to worry about it again, I think, until March 2022. Okay, so <laughs> it's not all oh Lord, it's good. We're gonna talk about how we're gonna how we're gonna make this benefit us. I don't want Mercury retrograde to have that negative connotation over it, because I think it does. So when a planet goes retrograde, um the definition would, would mean that the planet is moving backwards. However, technically a planet does not move backwards. It only can orbit in one direction. What happens is the planet slows down its orbit and it slows down so much until it gives the appearance or the illusion of moving backwards. That's why we say it's in Mercury retrograde. But it's really not. But what it actually does is it slows down its orbit, which means it is not functioning 100%. It is not operating as it normally does when it's in its full orbit. It's kind of like the planet is actually going to sleep. It's going through a resting period. So you won't reap the all the benefits of that particular planet. Now, Mercury retrograde. Mercury is the planet of the mind. It is the planet of all things communication. It is the planet of all things transportation, um, how we think, how we teach, how we learn um, is tied into Mercury, how we communicate. It is the communication planet, okay? So anything that has anything to do with communication has to do with Mercury. So when this planet is slowing down, this affects us really, really in a personal way because Mercury is actually um, the closest planet to the sun. So when it slows down, we feel it, its effects, okay? We feel it. So some of the things that we caution you to about when a Mercury retrograde is going on, number one, you will hear 
Um, don't sign any contracts or don't go in, 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 into any type of agreement because the communication, the understanding, what you're signing or what you think you're signing may not be clear. The details aren't clear in those types of contracts or verbal agreements or things of that nature. So we caution you not to go into any written agreements, verbal agreements. Um, we caution you not to initiate anything new, okay? Now, pay attention to what I said, anything new. So new projects, uh, new relationships, uh, maybe a new job, anything that you're initiating in the new stage, we kind of caution you and ask that you not do it under a mercury retrograde because sometimes, again, the details aren't worked out and what you think you may be getting into, what you think in your mind you're getting into, may not be what exactly is communicated to you. And then there's a miscommunication about what you thought you heard and what you thought you agreed to. Um, also, initiating new relationships. Um, because this is a temporary energy, we kind of caution you not to start a new relationship with someone because the energy is temporary. So just as quickly as this relationship would have started, once the Mercury retrograde ends and we're back working um, at full capacity, um, this may not be exactly what you thought it was by way of relationships. So something to that, that effect. Also, we caution you about um, purchasing any type of electronics, anything with moving parts, especially cars, large electronics, things of that nature. That's not a good, it's not a good time to purchase anything with, with regards to uh, electronics, uh, cars, anything high ticket items. Um, I remember I purchased a TV under a Mer Mercury retrograde and I knew I shouldn't have, but I did. And I ended up getting the TV and got the TV out of the box. And it something with the picture or something was, the color wasn't right, so I had to take the TV back. I ended up taking that TV back like twice because I kept getting a defective TV. So that's an example of um, purchasing things under a Mercury retrograde. Uh, what's another one? Um, be careful with driving because uh, you will find during a Mercury ret retrograde accidents um, there are more accidents because people aren't paying attention. So be careful with driving. Uh, if you have travel plans, um, just give yourself a lot of extra time. Give yourself a lot of extra patience. Um, the Mercury retrograde kind of hit me today because I was out driving and I kept missing the exit because I just wasn't paying attention. And it took me like three times to, to actually catch that exit and I kept having to loop around. So that's an example of the confusion that you get during a Mercury retrograde, okay? So does anyone have any questions about the effects of it? I've just kind of given you the general effects of it. Um, now, also I forgot, this is a good one. Uh, Mercury retrograde brings back old people, but we're gonna talk about that. Um, so, so far, does anyone have any questions about what you should not do or what we caution you about doing during a Mercury retrograde? Or has anyone started to experience the effects of it already? Now that I've kind of outlined what you could experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that does happen. It does happen. Uh, because um, Mercury is of the mind, People that suffer from um, illnesses, I mean, anxiety, maybe anxiety, um, your anxiety starts to kind of work up a, a little bit more than usual during a Mercury retrograde. It's like you can't turn your brain off and your thoughts are very confusing. So if you're someone that suffers from anxiety or suffers from anything that has to do with, um, especially those that suffer from um, insomnia, this is a hard time for them during a Mercury retrograde. So just... No, don't stay in the house. Don't stay in the house. <laughs> you can come out. Okay, so now, things that can happen during a mer Mercury retrograde. Also, here's, I'm always in retrograde. Yeah, you are. And that's, and you know what? Funny you said that. Because if you are a person, when you were born, if a planet, particularly Mercury, was in retrograde at the time of your birth and you were, you were born under 
a Mercury retrograde, this actually works better for you because you were actually born under a retrograde. So when the retrograde comes around, you actually do excellent during this time. Excellent. Okay, so some other things that can happen during Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is notorious for bringing people back into your life. Now, this could be anybody. Romantic, business, family, friends, anybody. But it seems to bring romantic partners back into your life for whatever reason, okay? So be on the lookout for hearing from or seeing or even just thinking about people from your past. So that comes up. Now, I caution you, um, if this is a romantic person from your past, um, I would not jump, if you were thinking about getting back together with this person, I would not necessarily do it under the Mercury retrograde. I would say if you could just wait until the Mercury retrograde ends, including the shadow period, then you're going to see whether or not this person has truly, truly changed and whether or not you feel like you can move forward with the relationship. But yes, you will have people return into your life. Um, that's always a big one. Um, people sometimes um, find things during a Mercury retrograde. You will find that sometimes if you've lost something, all of a sudden that thing that shows back up, you just find things from a Mercury retrograde. It's weird, very, very weird. Um, Miss, oh no, several exes have resurfaced. Let me tell you, I'm telling you, it happens all the time, so this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not saying that you shouldn't try, but I'm just saying don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put too much into it. Uh, just see what happens after the retrograde period um, ends and whether or not you feel like you want to move forward with it. But it does bring back people. It brings back opportunities. It brings back situations that you thought you had resolved. It just brings back things, people, places, things, and circumstances from the past. That's what it does. And that's what it's there for. Now, how do you benefit from a Mercury retrograde? Because you do. I know it, does, it sounds all bad, but it's really not. This is actually a good time for you to stop and to slow down. Stop and slow down and review what is going on in your life. This is the time that Mercury is giving you the opportunity to just slow down and just really, really look at certain areas of your life Someone texts me right before this live starts saying, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so um, this is an opportunity for you to stop and do some reflection, some renewing, um, some relaxing, some relearning, anything to do over, but just basically just to slow down and just take an evaluation of where you are in your life and to see if there's anything that needs to be fixed or changed or just kind of looking over your progress that you've made in your life. So this kind of gives you a chance to hit the pause button on your life and just really, really make sure that you're going in the right direction. If you need to change something, if you need to revise something in your life, this is an excellent time for you to do that. And this is just really good for you just to relax and do nothing nothing at all excellent for that so now that we understand the mercury retrograde i hope we understand it if you have any questions let me know um again the signs most affected on this go round are libra gemini virgo aries cancer and capricorn but we will all feel it but they will feel it just a little bit more heavy than everyone else so does anyone have any questions before we start breaking down what particular area of your life that you need to pay attention to during this Mercury retrograde and where you can make the most progress? Does anyone have any questions? 806. We might get out of here early tonight. I don't want to keep y'all too late. Any questions? Any questions? This has been heavy on my mind, a do-over reset. If this is the time for it. This is the time for it. This is a time for relaxing your mind 
if you've um, been having just like a lot of anxiety or your thoughts have been all over the place or you just feel like you have just not been able to turn your brain off, this is the time that you can stop and pause and just catch up. And um, if you don't do anything else, just relax. Oh my God, that's me. I'm a Libra. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay because we're going to show you how this is going to work for you. All right. All right. All right. All right. So let's get started. Um, so, um, in astrology, we have 12 houses, we call them houses, and they represent 12 areas of our life, okay? Um, so, I can't turn my brain off at night. You need to, um, this would be a time for you to slow down, really, really to slow down. Um, so, 12 houses in astrology, they represent 12 areas of our life, and during the Mercury retrograde, each of us can, can feel it in any area in our in our life. However, there's going to be a particular area in your life that you may need to pay a little bit more attention to because some things may come up from the past with regards to this area of your life. So if we are ready, again, this is going to be based on your rising sign, okay? So hopefully you have your rising or you call it the ascendant sign. Now, you can also listen for your sun sign and you can listen for your moon sign. So you wanna listen for all three so you can get a well-rounded picture of what could possibly be coming your way. Your rising sign is going to be the primary thing that you're gonna listen for because that's gonna be um, the most um, impactful on your life. Your sun sign would be next and then your moon sign would be next, okay? So we wanna listen for all three just to see, you know, um, whether or not it may be one area that's impactful, two or all three, okay? And take notes so first things first we start at the top of the zodiac so this is going to be Aries Sun moon or rising the mercury retrograde is going to be in the area of your life that impacts your relationships so when I say relationships this could look like uh, your romantic relationships marriages business partnerships these are one-on-one -on -one relationships that you go into with another person. Um, this is also the relationship with yourself, okay? It could be the relationship with yourself. This is also the area of your life that has to do with legal affairs, and it also has to do with what we call open enemies. And when I say open enemies, this is the people that we know don't really care for us or we have some type of conflict with. Um, but it's definitely our one-on-one -on -one relationship. So for Aries, Risings, Sun or Moon, this could look like definitely someone returning from the past. Now, this could, this could be for anyone, but for Aries, Rising, this is definitely going to be an area that you should definitely look out for people returning from your past. So that could look like a romantic partner. That could look like a close friend. That could also look like a, a family member because those are our one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, now, if it is not someone returning from your past, this could be something to the effect of if there was an issue or a situation um, that you had with a partner, and I'm gonna say partner, I'm just gonna cover you know everyone that I've just described, with a partner or another person, that issue may come up again. Now doesn't necessarily mean it's negative but it could be so if it's something that you thought you had resolved or an issue you thought you had resolved in your relationship or your partnership business marriage romantic or whatever it is it may come up again for you so you may be addressing that again um also if you are an aries rising that's involved with a legal proceeding uh, this may be a time that you actually may hear something with regards to a legal issue that you may have been involved in. Um, and um, this is also a time that if you have been having conflict with someone um, that could come up again. But the thing that is so, so important with you, Aries Rising, is this is going to be an opportunity <laughs> for you to finally resolve these issues within your partnerships within your one-on-one -on -one relationships and this could also again be just the the relationship you have with yourself 
if there's something that you've been struggling with about yourself that you've wanted to, you know, finally put down or address, whatever that may be, this will be an opportunity for you to do that during this uh, Mercury retrograde period. But definitely there will be communications with people from the past. Okay, that's my Aries rising. Taurus rising, sun or moon, this Mercury retrograde is going to be in the area of your chart that, that um, governs your health and fitness, your day-to-day -day work activities, your work environment the people that you work with, around, or for, or who work under you. Um, this will also be uh, an area that governs your small pets and how you are of service to others. So Taurus rising, this could definitely look like if you have a health issue or have had a health issue that you have not been addressing, this may very well um, bring some attention to that and you may have an unresolved health issue to come up again. Now, I don't want to scare you, but I just want to let you know that this could be a possibility with regards to something with your health and that could be mental or physical health may come up again with regards to that. Um, now, because this is the area that governs our work environment um, and our co-workers, um, the, my Taurus rises, this actually may look like a work opportunity that you thought you may have missed could come back around for you. Or you may get the feeling that um, you want to do something different with your work. Um, so this may look like um, maybe an opportunity. Uh, you may actually hear from uh, a job or something to the effect of a job or a position that you applied for some time ago, you may actually hear something from that company or something about that particular um, job or position may come up again and you may get the opportunity again to apply for it or, or you know, go after that particular job that you wanted. Um, I would tell you if you have applied for a position with another company and this actually could be with another company or with the same company if you apply for a position and you didn't get it or something fell through with it this will be a good time for you to kind of like go back and look at that again because it may come around for you that opportunity could come around for you again now this could also be just you really rethinking whether or not your current work environment is satisfying you if this is where you really really want to be and potentially thinking about making some changes to your work environment. Now, if it has nothing to do with you wanting to change a job or an opportunity for another job comes along, um, this may be a restructuring of your current work environment or your work duties. Maybe some type of change or some type of move or this could look like old co-workers returning or maybe an old boss returning are you going back to um, a department that you used to work in? Something with regards to work and your work environment, um, having to redo it, okay? Now, if you have the opportunity to get a new job, if another job is presented to you or another position is presented to you, I would tell you, if this is something that is from the past and it's, you, it's not a brand new position, this is something that's been on the table before, I would tell you 100% go for it if you wanted to. Now, if it's a new position, brand new, just brand new to you, um, life is life. If you have to make a decision about it, then just make the decision about it. I would say if you do accept a new position, be flexible because at any given time in the next few months, the job may change and it may not be exactly what you thought it was or something changes. But again, we all have to be in life. We can't stop our lives because Mercury retrograde is happening. Um, we just have to go out on faith. And again, you have to be flexible. Okay. Um, and this is the area that governs small pets. So, so if some of you have been thinking about getting a new pet or something to that effect, um, go ahead and do that. 
Only if it's something that you were thinking about doing before and you feel like you can do it now, then go ahead and do that. So that is going to be my Taurus Risings. So I wanna make sure that you guys address any of your health issues. Even if you don't feel like it is an issue and it's not bothering you, I want, I would strongly suggest that you address your health and that is mental and physical. So if you need to go and take a physical exam or you need to get some testing or something or you haven't been to the doctor in a long time, um, I would suggest that you do that now. Okay, uh, Gemini rising, sun or moon, this is going to be in the area of your life that governs your joy. So this could look like um, romantic affairs, love affairs, dating. Um, this could look like creative projects, our children, procreation, and the stock market. So... The Mercury retrograde is going to be in that area of your life. So you will definitely, Gemini Risings, Sun or Moon, be hearing from some exes. It just is what it is. Now, again, like I said before, you are going to decide whether or not you want to deal with this person or persons again. That is solely up to you. I would strongly su suggest that you not move too fast. Let's wait until after the Mercury retrograde period to see if this person has really changed. And if they have, then go go for it. But um, <laughs> definitely we'll be hearing from exes. And even if you don't hear from someone, this is probably an energy of them at least being on your mind. And maybe you wanting to reach out to them. I say proceed with caution when it comes to this. Um, this is also the area of our children and procreation. So, with regards to our children, um, now depending on how old your children are, this could be an area of a little bit of confusion with your kids. Um, maybe your children are having some issues with school, um, maybe they're having some issues maybe depending on how old they are with work or something going on with your kids um, that you're going to need to possibly address with them or help them through um, now if you have small children school-aged children small children this may be an energy of them acting out okay so just be mindful that it's a temporary energy um, they acting out a little bit um, Especially if you have a Virgo child. This one may be having a little bit of a problem um, at school. Okay, so this is for my parents of my Virgo kids, Libras, Geminis, Cancers, and Capricorns. Have a little grace and patience with them during this time. So if you're Gemini rising and you have children with those zodiac signs, just be prepared for uh, giving them a little bit added attention because they may be doing a little acting out at this time. Um, this is also good for creative projects. So if you've had any creative projects that you have not been able to get off the ground, if you've been wanting to start a new business that has not been working out for you, you're kind of like hitting roadblocks, this will be a great time for you to revise your plans, to look at things differently. Um, if you've had projects that just kind of like did not get off the ground, didn't have any steam behind them, this is time for you to look at them again and see how you could do them different renewing them, revising them, reworking them. This is great energy for that. And if you are a Gemini rising that was playing around possibly with the stock market a few months ago and it was not paying off, it may actually turn around for you. Now, I always say if you're doing the stock market thing, I am not a Wall Street guru, so do not take my advice. Do not invest more than you can lose. But Gemini Risings, um, you may be able to turn those stocks around. You know, that's just my advice to you. But um, you're going to have a lot to do with romance, past loves coming back. And if you have children in your life, just add just a little bit of attention to them because they may be having a hard time with um, just kind of keeping focus and maybe acting out a little bit for my Gemini Risings. Oh, and this is also procreation. So some of my Gemini Risings may be hearing about being pregnant or expecting a baby don't shoot the messenger okay cancer risings sun or moon 
this Mercury retrograde is going to uh, affect you in the area that has to do with your family, um, real estate, um, your parents, particularly your mother, Cancer rising, or the women in your family, or the mother-like uh, people in your family, and your real estate endeavors and foundations. So, Cancer risings. This is going to be an energy of uh, reconnecting with your family. This would be a good time for you to start reconnecting with your family. Um, so this would be great for like a family reunion or if you decide to just have something at your home um, and having family over for you guys to reconnect. Because we have been separated from our family for so long within this last year and even this year, this will be great for you to reconnect with your family. Now, I will, I will caution you to um, do your safety measures when it comes to being compliant with the COVID restrictions, um, making sure, you know, if you don't want people in your house that are not vaccinated, that's up to you because this has to do with your home too. This is the real estate part of your, your, your chart too. So reconnecting with family. Now, as we reconnect with family, this could bring up old issues and situations and ties that have to do with the family. And I have a cancer rising that I talked to today that told me a story of a situation that just came out of the blue that involves her and someone, a female, very close to her and her family. And this is not a good situation that they're going to have to work out. So this is what Mercury retrogrades do. If it has, has to do with your family, um, it may bring up the issues again that you have to address. So be on the look lookout for family type dynamics and situations coming up again that need to be resolved. Um, I would also say to my Cancer Risings, play close attention to your mother if you still have your mother or your grandmother or the women in your family that are very close to you. Um, there may be possibly some health issues that come up. I don't want to scare you, but just kind of pay attention to your mother or the women in your family. Um, I would definitely suggest for my Cancer Risings, be very careful with your home environment. Um, accidents in the home, um, because this is Mercury retrograde, the communications and the electronics in your home may start to break down. So those are our TVs, um, our air conditioning units, the refrigerators, all that kind of stuff in your home possibly could go on the fritz at this time. I just want to kind of give you a heads up on that. But this is great for, again, family reunions. And this is great for you redecorating your space. So if you're a Cancer Rising that has been thinking about redecorating your space, this is good for you. And this is also good for my Cancer Risings that have been thinking about starting the process of buying a home. This will be great for you to start looking. And again, if this was something that you had on your mind sometime before and you really didn't follow through with it, this would be a great time for you to start that with my Cancer Risings. Um, and we're going to do uh, Leo rising, sun or moons. We're going to do those next because that is my rising sign. So, so far, does anyone want me to backtrack on any of the either Aries, Taurus, Gemini, or Cancer? Did I miss anything? Or does anyone have any questions so far? You know your moon and your sun. So you can listen for your moon and your sun. Um, and what I would suggest that you do at the end of this, this is going to stay, this is going to stay on my, on this page here. Just go in into that, you know, free natal chart calculator. If you have your birth time and then get your rising sign and just come back and listen to it in the replay or better yet, you guys can come and get a personal reading with me where I give you all this information and we talk about what is going on with you and what is coming up for you in the next three to six months and a little bit into the next year. So that is the best way to get this information is by having a reading. So I have, let's see, you need a session. I got you, girl. I got you. I'll send you the link. Okay, so uh, no Aries risings, Taurus risings, Gemini risings, or Cancer risings on here right now. Okay. Okay. 
I will send you the. I'm gonna put the link down here at the end. Um, and then you can um, you can go to the link and schedule. Okay, so let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about the next four. <laughs> So Leo rising is next, and that is a personal to me because that is my rising sign and that is Tasha's rising sign. So Leo risings, the Mercury retrograde is going to be in the area of your chart that governs all things communication. Okay, so this would look like um, sales, marketing, how we communicate, so this is um, speaking engagements, this is writing opportunities, this is um, uh, teaching and learning. This is also the area of our chart that governs our siblings, our extended family, our neighbors. And there's something else that I'm missing. Okay, I'll think of it in a minute. Okay, and short distance travel, that's what it is. Okay, so this will look like I would strongly suggest for my Leo Risings and myself, this is going to be great for those Leo Risings that have businesses, that have started a business. And going in and looking at your business plan, your business format, how you do business, and revamping your business plan, your marketing strategy, your sales strategy, how you market your business is going to be a big deal for you during this Mercury retrograde. If you're those, if you're one of those Leo Risings that has a business and you don't feel like your business is doing as good as it should, or your business is not being seen by the right people or enough people, this is going to be excellent energy for you to go in and revamp your business marketing strategy. Excellent for that. This is also good for Leo Risings that have podcasts, that have, um, that do speaking engagement, especially those that are also in sales, in marketing. Um, this is going to be great for you. Now, this also may look like some of my Leo Risings getting an opportunity to do speaking engagements. Like someone um, may have saw you or saw your message, whatever it is you do out into the public may come in with an opportunity to work with you or present you with um, an opportunity to speak somewhere or do something with regards to getting your message out. Now, be mindful who you are connecting with during this time. Now, this is where I'm gonna caution you. Be mindful who you say yes to, okay? Make sure you get all the details of this project as much as you can. Because again, the communication may be off and what you hear and what you thought you would be doing may not turn out to be what you thought it was. And be very mindful of signing anything at this time, Leo Risings. I would strongly suggest if you are presented with contracts or anything that you need to sign your name on, if you can push this thing out until at least after the end of the Mercury retrograde, like right after that October the 18th, I would strongly suggest that you push it out as far as you can. But this is great for you um, revamping your business. Now, if you have been estranged from your siblings or for whatever reason, you just haven't been spending a lot of time with your siblings, maybe there's been an issue with your siblings, um, this could be the opportunity for you guys to reconnect. Now, it may not start off that great, there may be a conversation to be had within your sibling group. Maybe there's something that needs to be worked out, uh, but this is great energy for you to get on the same page or get an understanding of what is going on with you and your siblings. And if, even if there's no beef or anything, this would just be great for you guys reconnecting. If you don't spend enough time with each other, if you haven't been um, talking to each other enough, this would be a good time for that. Um, I would also caution you because this is the area of your life that governs your neighbors. Um, there may be some friction with your neighbors or some miscommunication with your neighbors. Um, just try to keep a level head when it comes to that. And um, there may be opportunities for you to take short distance trips 
and this is and I and I know I cautioned you about traveling because traveling gets confusing um, during this time so if you could take a short distance trip to some place that you've already been that would be good for you that would work out a little bit more smoothly for my Leo risings but definitely um, missed opportunities with regards to communication but I really want those of you that are using social media or marketing your business I want you to get in and really really go over is your business plan really serving you well is this really the best that you can do or is there something else that you could be doing with regards to your business um, that could help it push you along for me personally I started trying to do this website thing again. That is like the most tedious. That shit got on my nerves. However, I know it would be better for my business if I had an official website. So I may give it another go, but that is like the most tedious shit I have ever done in my life. And I, I, I that shit got on my nerves. But anyway, so that is for my Leo Rising. Selling yourself, grabbing those opportunities to market yourself, being very cautious on who you align yourself with with regards to your business and who you and how you promote yourself out to the world that's my leo rising i wish it could have been a little bit more exciting but that's fine that's enough for us okay virgo rising sun or moon this is going to be in the area that has everything to do with your money okay so money is a very very personal and emotional thing for everyone and my Virgo risings I uh, yep I had to hire someone to do my website that shit is horrible I'm gonna have to hire somebody because it is the worst thing ever but when I'm not gonna dwell on that because my anxiety is gonna go up if I start talking about it so Virgo risings this has everything to do with your money everything to do with your material possessions um, the value that you place on things, the value that you place on people, and the value that you place on yourself is the area that's going to be affected. And um, your job is also in this area. So Virgo Risings, number one straight out the gate, um, there may be some a shakeup with regards to how you make your money, okay? Now, I'm just going to be straight with you. This may actually look like the loss of a stream of income for you. However, this could be a good thing. And I know that it doesn't sound like it, be, it could be a good thing, but this could be a good thing for you. And I think the reason I say that is um, it could be a loss of a, a, a stream of income for you or a change in a stream of income for you. However, I feel like this would be a beneficial for you because maybe it's that little push that you need to send you in the direction that you need to be going in. If you're one of my Virgo Risings that needs to be in business for themselves, okay, the universe has been pushing you and pushing you and for whatever reason, you're a Virgo Rising, you're very particular, you don't like change, you don't like to be pushed unless you have all the details and you will procrastinate and procrastinate, I feel like the universe is going to shake up your source of income um, to push you in the direction that you need to go, and that is into business for yourself, okay? So, I'm telling you, um, I would strongly suggest before you let the universe do this to you, you should be proactive and really start building this business that you've had and this is not the, a new business I would I wouldn't say a new business but this is something that you either thought about before going into business for yourself or something that you've been doing and you have not been pushing this business as much as you should the universe has been pushing you to say hey this is where it's at this is what I want you to do I want you to go ahead and release yourself from you know, this job that you think you need because you're never going to give 100% attention to this business of yours because you keep holding on to this. I told you. <laughs> I told you, Lico. So my Virgo Risings. Um, now, I'm not going to tell you just go quit your job. Don't. I, I did not tell you that. What I'm saying is it's time for you to step into what it is you're supposed to be doing 
with regards to how you make your money. Now, if that looks like having your own business, that looks like having your own business. If that looks like changing your job or going for that promotion that you've been thinking about or applying for that job at that other company that you've been thinking about, that's what I'm talking about. A change in how you make your money has to happen, but it can't be something that's brand new. This is something that you've probably been thinking about for a very, very long time. Now, even, okay, just to say for instance, it's not an old idea. This is what I would say to you. Start making the plans right now. And then after the Mercury retrograde, go over the plan again and then implement it. But I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of my Virgo Risings need to be in business for themselves. Now, this is also the area of material possessions. So, and it's our it's the area that governs our values. It is time for you to start to really look at the value you place on things, okay? Are you tying your self-worth to things? Are you tying your self-worth to money? Do you feel like, you know, I equate um, my value by how much money I make? or I equate my value by the material things that I own. It's time that you really start looking at, are you judging yourself by money? Are you judging yourself by things? Are you judging other people by what they have or what they don't have? You're gonna really have to start looking at your value system and really, really looking at what is important to you and what is of value to you. And it is not it has nothing to do with how much you own, how much you have, none of that. And if you have been going around with this mindset that, you know, I'm only worth anything because I have money, you know, I only feel good when I have money, you're gonna have to learn how to release that, okay? You're gonna have to release that. So that that's a lesson for your Mercury, uh, your Mercury retrograde to, um, Virgo rising is releasing some of these, these, these beliefs that you have that are keeping you trapped in the space that you're in. That is going to be your lesson for the Mercury retrograde. Now, my Libra risings, sun or moon, this is all about you. Okay? So, um, the Mercury retrograde is going to be in your first house. And this is the house of our physical body. This is the house of our appearance. <laughs> our self-expression, how the world sees us. Okay, this is how it's gonna play out with my Libra Risings. Alrighty. Um, this Mercury Retrograde could hit you in any area of your life, but because it has to do with your, your physical body, I have a feeling this is going to be something with regards to, maybe my Libra Risings were thinking about having some of you were thinking about having some type of cosmetic procedures so this could be as little as a facial or this could be as big as some of you have been considering having cosmetic surgery i don't know a little suck and tuck you know a little nip here a little nip there maybe i think some of you may have been contemplating having um a type of surgery, maybe a gastric bypass, maybe the sleeve, but it has everything to do with changing your physical appearance. So it could be to any degree. Like I said, it could be small as some Botox injections or going to get a facial or electrolysis or whatever, or as big as some of you considering doing gastric bypass surgery, um, doing some kind of boob job or suck and tug or something like that. But I think the idea is coming back around for you um, to think about changing your physical appearance because this is going to change how you show up in the world. If this is something you've been thinking about, I would strongly suggest that you uh, start making the plans to have that done. Now, you're another one, because this is in the first house, you will probably have some old people come back from the past, okay? Especially lovers, especially lovers. So, again, I'm going to give you the same advice. If you do have these people come back, it is up to you whether or not you want to pursue this relationship again 
or pursue this entanglement again or whatever this looks like don't put too much into it if they're still around after the mercury retrograde and you feel good about it then i say go for it okay um but i'm really thinking this has everything to do about your physical body again you're another one that um health issues may come back up so this would be a good time for you to do a complete physical exam from head to toe uh, mental and physical health so even if you feel good you don't think anything is wrong i would strongly suggest that you uh go and have a full exam everything that you need to have um and uh, if you want to do that cosmetic surgery let's just see if you are physically ready to do that um because it's all about you changing and you showing up different in the world. Now, if you don't want to have any surgery, you want to do anything like that, this could be great for you um, starting uh, your self-improvement process. So whatever that looks like, you want to start eating healthy. Um, you want to start working out. Um, you want to revamp your wardrobe. Oh, this is good for my Libra Risings. I need you to go through your closets and get rid of everything that you've been holding on to that you know you're not going to wear, that's outdated, you ain't never going to wear that again. This would be great for you going in and starting to clean out your closets. And then after the Mercury Retrograde, uh, we're going to start um, purchasing items for our new style, changing our style. Now, I would not suggest that you do any type of, like if you're gonna do like a change your hair. I wouldn't cut my hair at this time because you definitely are not gonna like that haircut after this Mercury Retrograde. But let's play with a new style. Maybe we'll go to the wig place and try on a wig to see if we like our hair short or whatever in a different color. And then after the retrograde, then we make permanent changes. So though, that's my Libra rising. So does this resonate with any of my Libra risings in here? What we just talked about? Because next we're going to talk about Scorpio risings. But my Libra risings, again, you're going to be one of those that just feels this really, really intensely. And um, you probably are going to feel it in your physical body, this Mercury retrograde. So that's why I'm strongly suggesting that you go to a doctor get a lot of rest just get a lot of rest oh get a lot of rest okay scorpio rising sun or moon retrograde is going to be in i'm starting my workout in the morning doop, doop. yes okay scorpio rising this is going to be in the area of your chart that governs your your spirituality your spiritual life um, your subconscious, your dream life. Um, this is also the area that governs specialized populations. So this includes people that, and this includes things that have to do with a hospital, maybe a rehab or some type of institution. And this also has to do with prisons, the prison system. Okay. And this is the House of Secrets. Okay, Scorpio Risings. Let's start straight out the gate. Secrets. Because y'all are some of the most secretive people on the planet. So this could look like, because it's a retrograde, things that have been withheld from you may come out during this Mercury retrograde. Now, I can't say whether that's good, bad, or indifferent, but it's definitely information that you need to know. So you may be getting some surprising information with regards to a person or a situation or something that someone has been keeping from you for, for quite a while now. Now, and this could go both ways. If you are the person that has been keeping secrets, those secrets, whatever they are, could potentially come out during the Mercury retrograde, whatever that is, okay? Because Scorpio Rises always have secrets. I, they're just full of secrets. So some of that could come out. Um, with the Mercury retrograde, your dream life is going to get very, very active. It's probably already started. So this could be, for those of you who are very, very spiritually connected, this could be dreams or experiences that you have from people that have transitioned over that are coming and visiting you 
and bringing you a message. So this could actually be the secret or these visions or these encounters or these dreams that you're having from people that have transitioned over or attempting to communicate with you and bring a message to you. So I would strongly suggest for my Scorpio Risings to write down your dreams. Write down, um, you're gonna be daydreaming a lot. Your daydreams and just these visions or these things that you hear, write them down. There are messages in there that are trying to be related to you. Mercury retrograde in the 12th house. If you are one of my Scorpio Risings, that has been having a little tit to tay behind somebody's back, or somebody's been having a tit to tay behind your back, this could be a time that that could come out because um, somebody got a little sloppy. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, now, this is excellent time for you to renew your spiritual life. This, is, this will be a great time for my Scorpio Risings to go on to a retreat. So getting away in solitude by yourself, particularly to some place you've been before and you have a spiritual connection in this place, okay? Especially if it's somewhere around water. This will be a good time for you to renew your spirit, renew your spiritual life, renew your mind. This is all about you resting, resting and renewal. Now, you also could be experiencing or having some experience with someone that is either entering into a hospital situation, getting out of a hospital, needing medical care of some sort. I don't want to put this on you because this could be a medical situation with regards to you. Um, and um, this could also look like a rehab facilities. So uh, this could be going into therapy or having a breakthrough in therapy or something to that regard. And I do have to throw prisons out there. So um, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know how a prison could work into your life or a jail situation could work into your life. I don't want it to work into your life. So just keep your business on the up and up. Don't get yourself involved with anybody that could potentially have you in a legal situation here because you could end up spending a little time in jail. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Uh, Sagittarius, rising sun or moon. This is going to be in the area of your house that governs your, your friends, your friend groups, your social groups, your hopes, dreams, and wishes, and technology. Sagittarius rising is going to be hearing from friends from the past, coming back, uh, associates from the past, reconnecting with social groups that you may have been a part of, that you may want to get back with, but definitely friends coming back. Now, this, the best part of this uh, placement is, this is the house of hopes, dreams, and wishes. I need all my Sagittarius Risings to revamp your goals. Look back on these long-term goals that you have for yourself. I need to make sure you're still aligning with those long-term goals because I feel like some of my Sag Risings may have had a shift in the last year. And what they thought was important or where they thought their life was going to go you know, last year has drastically changed and it looks very, very different. So I want to make sure that you guys are sitting down and really, really looking at your long-term goals and things that you thought you wanted for your future and see if they still align with you. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be making a lot of changes um, that are based on how your belief system has changed, how you now see the world and your place in the world. So this is a very, very deep, deep period for my Sagittarius Risings. And um, I want you to really, really make sure that you are on the right path for what you want long-term. And this is not short-term, this is long-term. And this could look like anything. This could look like if you were one that thought you wanted to be married with seven kids, and you may be thinking now, hell no, I don't want all that shit. Um, oh, I will, I will. Um, I don't want all that in my life right now. Now I just want to grab a backpack and I want to trek around Europe for the next five years. Things like that. Um, so making sure your life, your, your goals still align with who you are and um, reconnecting with social groups and affiliations um, that could possibly help you with your growth, whether that's career, um, 
whether just just any area of your life so those that's my Sagittarius rising realigning your goals is very important for you Capricorn rising Sun or moon this is going to be in the area of your career um, they're gonna be in your area of your career the titles that you hold and your social standing in life so um, career goals Capricorn rising and this is actually the the uh, house that you rule so this is going to be good for you um capricorn risings i need you to go over your career goals i need to make sure you're still aligned with your career goals um i need you to relook at how your career is going is this the place that i want to be do i want to be doing something else um, where do I see myself going within my career? That's what's going to be a big deal for you. Um, if you are in corporate America or whatever, you work in an office and you have higher ups, this will be a good time for you to take a meeting with those people and to make sure you're talking to them and discussing your, um, your relationship or your place within the company. Where do they see you going? Do, you know, are y'all on the same page as far as you're kind of like trying to progress within the company and how can you make that happen? So having a meeting with higher ups is going to be very beneficial so you can make sure that the, both of you are on the same page with regards to your career goals within your company. Now, this could also look like a change in career goals. So again, this may be one another one of my zodiac signs that are going to decide that I don't no longer work want to work for anybody else and I want to be my own boss. That has everything to do with a change in your title, which is where this 10th house is for you. Change in your title. So you go from working for someone to work being your own boss. Now, this is a relationship house. So my Capricorn Risings may be hearing some information with regards to the title you wear with regards to your relationship. And this could look like two ends of the, of the spectrum. Um, I feel like some of my Capricorn Rises are going to be talking about getting married and some of y'all are going to be talking about breaking up and getting a divorce because there's going to be a title change within the next few months with Capricorn Rises. Now, you're going to determine what that looks like for you. I could be getting a wedding invita invitation or I could be getting an invitation to a divorce party. That's up to y'all, but definitely there's going to come up, there's going to be something coming up with regards to your relationship and how you move in your relationship and what the dynamic is of your relationship. Um, again, this is the titles that we wear. So some of you could be becoming the president of the homeowners association. Some of you could be becoming grandparents. I just need you to pay attention to how the world sees you and what the world knows you as. It's not always career because everybody's not in the workforce. So we have to pay attention to how we're known in the world. What are we doing? What are we known for? What is our public image in there? Now, the public image is in this area. This could be some scandal or something with regards to something going on around your name or maybe somebody's talking about you or something comes up with a situation that you may have, oh, you know who this is? Let me give you an example, prime example. Mr. R. Kelly is a Capricorn, and we already see how his name and his status and how we see him as an entertainer and no longer an entertainer. Now he's about to be a convicted felon. That's an example of a title change or how you are your image is changed to the public. Now, I'm not saying any of y'all want to be going on trial and, and doing all of that. I'm just giving you an example, Capricorn Rising, on how you can go from being someone that's so admired and people just love you around the world and you're just this wonderful person and in the blink of an eye, now everybody despises you and you like the worst thing in the world. Be mindful of that during this Mercury retrograde period. There may be somebody out there trying to throw dirt on your name. I'm just going to put it like that. Um, Aquarius, rising sun or moon. This is going to be in the area that governs your educational pursuits. Um, this is the area that governs long distance travel. This is what I consider passport travel. 
Um, this is about the re religion. Uh, this is also an area that governs the law and legal affairs. So this definitely can look like um, some of my Aquarius risings considering going back to school. This would be a great time for you to go back to school, educational pursuits, finishing up that degree that you wanted. And even if it's a new degree plan, this is something that you may have been thinking about a while ago that you wanted to finally go and get your degree and you want to start back to school. Great for you going back to school. And don't always think of it as higher education. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to go into formal education. This could be simply something that you've always wanted to study. A foreign language is great for Aquarius Risings right now. So if you wanted to study a foreign language, if you wanted to study something that will advance your marketing skills, making you more marketable in the workplace, this would be great for that too. But in any area of study for you, if you wanted to, you know, just, just learn something new, foreign language is good for you right now. Now, this is also good for um, long distance travel. Um, so if you're one of those that has been waiting on their passport, and I know there's been a delay with the passports, you'll probably be getting your passport in the next couple of weeks. It probably will just kind of like, all of a sudden your passport shows up and then you can travel. I think a lot of you probably have had a hold up with passports. So you should be hearing something about your passport. Uh, this would be great for you to start planning the trip. Now I wouldn't necessarily go on the trip during this time, uh, but definitely good for you to plan the trip. And let me suggest this to you. If you can plan somewhere to go that can be something to the effect of you learning a different culture, okay? Uh, I know we like to go to places with the beach. That's I love that, with the beach and the blue water and all of that, and that's great. But I think Aquarius Risings, you would benefit more <coughs> if you went somewhere where the culture is entirely different from anything else you've experienced. Like if you went somewhere like um, to Thailand, or you went somewhere in Europe or something. Somewhere where the culture is totally different, you could soak up the culture and you could learn something from there. See, again, that ties into the education of ourselves. This will be good for you. Um, and because this is also the area of um, our lives that governs our belief system, our religious practices, this would be great for you to go somewhere uh, where you can also see how different cultures worship, um, how they connect with God, and possibly learning something new about yourself and learning a new uh, spiritual practice for yourself would be great for Aquarius Risings. Simply great for that. I need to be going with y'all. And last but not least, we have Pisces rising sun or moon. And this is going to be in the area that governs um, your shared resources, uh, your shared finances, things that you share with another person or another entity. This is also the area that governs loans, inheritances, taxes, um, other people's money. Okay, is in here. Child support is in here. Our partner, our husbands, our, our wives, our um, business partners, their resources, credit is in this, this house. And this is also the house of sex and intimacy. So let's break this down, Pisces Risings. Straight out the gate, you could be hearing something with regards to a tax situation. Now this could go either way. Either you get an unexpected tax return or you get an unexpected audit. Or something's going on with your taxes that's not very clear and you may need to address again. Um, this could also be um, an area of having to deal with a financial situation that has something to do with you and another person. Um, maybe this has to do with, again, with a tax situation, but the tax situation comes because of another person or something. Or maybe somebody did your taxes and they didn't do them right and here you are having to deal with uh, straightening out the mess with the IRS. Um, gosh, my son Pisces is somehow connected to money. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. 
<laughs> um, now, this could also look like if you're in business with someone or if this is your spouse or whomever you're connected with and it has to do with money and resources, I need you to pay a little bit more closer attention to who you are allowing to um, take care of your finances. If you're in a situation where you have left the financial responsibility to someone else and you have not been paying attention, you may be in for a rude awakening with regards to your money, okay? Either someone has not been paying bills as they should or has been stealing money or just has not been very responsible with the uh, the money situation that you allowed them to do. You need to start paying more attention to that. Um, I would hate for you to find yourself in a financial situation uh, with regards to that. Um, you're another one that could be hearing from people from the past, especially those people now this may not necessarily be someone that you were in a relationship with it may have been but this is somebody that you probably had really good sex with real good sex with so they may come back around again and you may get the opportunity to kind of hit it and put it again that's up to you if you want to do that but i'm just putting it out there um but i need you to pay attention to your money and who you are letting take responsibility for your money now um, on a better note, this will be great for those of you that need to refinance things. So if you want to uh, refinance a home loan, a personal loan, you want to try to renegotiate a different interest rate on your credit cards or your home or whatever, this will be great for you to go to the bank or financial institution to refinance, renegotiate, whatever it is, for a better interest rate or a better, better, you know, financial situation going on. This is all about redoing. And what's the worst they could do? What's the worst they could do? Say no. This would be great even if you just called like your insurance company and uh, told them, hey, I want to re renegotiate my car insurance for a lower rate. I've been with you guys for so long. I haven't had an accident and I feel like you guys should be able to give me a better rate. And, and if you don't, I'm going to go somewhere else. See if you can rene renegotiate like that. Um, and uh, this could also look like if you are dependent on uh, a, a stream of income from another person. So this could look like child support. This could look like alimony. This could look like maybe someone has been giving you money for the longest. They may decide that I'm not paying it anymore. So I need you to be prepared for a shakeup in money that someone gives to you. This is not money that you earn. This is money that someone gives to you. Um, be, be, just be prepared that that might go away. And I would strongly suggest that you not co-sign or loan any money out at this time because you will not be getting that money back. And if anybody comes to you with the bright idea of co-signing for them, or putting anything in your name for them, that is a definite hell no, okay? And that is it. That is how the Mercury Retrograde, oh, I'm only six minutes over my time, great. That is how the Mercury Retrograde is going to affect each and every sign. Again, this is not a negative time. This is a time for us to, this is an opportunity for us to redo things in our lives. This does not have to be a negative thing. Do not put negative energy on this. Redo, slow down. So does anyone have any questions before we wrap this up? Do you want me to um, go over any of the signs? I'm gonna try to put the link in the um, chat so you can schedule. So while I'm looking for that, if you have any questions, let me know. Just switch insurance company. See, see, look at God. Um, damn it. They don't loan what you can't afford to get. I'm telling you, don't loan what you. But you just switched insurance companies. It went from six eight six ninety three to two seventy three. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is an example of using the Mercury retrograde to your advantage. You can do that. Now that loan that you gave to somebody. Mm, Well, we just gonna see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. 
Now, I will tell you this. I forgot to tell you at the start of this. In the last time we had a Mercury retrograde in Libra was back in September 17th, 2015. And it ran until October the 9th, 2015. So if you have a good memory, if you can remember what happened in September 2015 or what was going on with you 2015, that's going to give you an indication of what this Mercury retrograde is going to feel like for you. Know that if you book a reading, it is completely confidential. We do, I do not sell your information. I don't tell anybody what we talked about. So please, you're comfortable enough to book with me. It stays between us. But we definitely, we have some breakthroughs. We have some laughs. We have tears. Um, but we, we definitely get some questions answered. And we want to get you some clarity so you can start moving forward. So, uh, oh, I enjoy you too. So, if no one has any questions, again, as always, this is going to stay up on here. So, you can go back and review it and then if you will be so kind as to follow me on instagram um melanin goddess life i also am on youtube i'm trying to see i'm doing what my third house is telling me to do as far as marketing myself so i'm trying to make sure i market my social media platforms more so i have a youtube channel if you go and uh, subscribe to the youtube channel i do a lot of videos on there that will keep you up to date on what is supposed to be going on in your life and i actually have a september horoscope video up so you can go there and see what you have coming up for the month of september so if any no one has any more questions i'm going to let you guys go we are only 11 minutes over the time that i wanted to be here i did not want to keep you long because we need to go to work in the morning. You guys have been a joy. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, and if you want a reading, just go to my inbox and I'll send you the link. I'm not, I, again, I got to get proficient on this stuff and I'm not really good for that. I'm going to try to do that this month. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. You have a great rest of your week. And do not be afraid about the Mercury retrograde. Just take your time. Um, give yourself some grace. Give everybody else some grace. And um, we're just going to get through it together. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye-bye.